Okay, new at 6 4 Unite, the Utah Senate committee has given now the green light to a bill cracking down on social media companies. It would dramatically change the rules for those companies when it comes to children using their platforms. Daniel Woodruff, live for us tonight at the Capitol with the very latest there. Daniel. Heidi and Mark, just within the last 30 minutes, that bill passed out of that Senate committee unanimously after some heated exchanges at times between lawmakers and tech lobbyists. This issue has sparked strong emotion and debate about how best to help children when it comes to social media. Lots of kids use social media, but not at David Whitaker's house. We're working on teaching our children how to communicate in person. The South Jordan father of five isn't rushing to introduce his kids to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I think right now social media is just, there's just not a lot of rules and boundaries for children. Senator Mike McKell goes further, saying social media is hurting kids, and the companies know it. Our kids are far more depressed than they've ever been. Social media is having a serious negative impact on our kids. His Senate Bill 152 would require social media companies to verify the ages of any user under 18 and let parents monitor their kids' social media accounts. It doesn't say kids can't be on social media. It, it, what we're trying to do is, is make sure parents play a vital role and, and approve the activity that's happening online. I reached out to multiple social media companies asking for comment on Mikkel's bill, but never heard back. David says he supports what it's trying to do. I think that social media companies aren't taking the initiative in setting these boundaries and uh, that it's appropriate that if they're not going to take action that our elected representatives do so. Now, the bill would also prohibit social media companies from collecting data on children or advertising to them. It now heads to the full Senate for a vote. Live at the Capitol, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV, 2 News.